What's up, Collective? This is Sid from Savvy Sentient here with your collective message for the month or week of December 27th through January 2nd. Okay, this is not a sign specific reading. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it's not your message. Okay, all right, Spirit. What does the collective need to know for this upcoming week? What are the messages that the collective needs to hear for the upcoming week? We have the Father of Cups controlling your emotions. That would be the King of Cups in this deck, the Wild Unknown Terror. What does the Collective need to know for this upcoming week? Oh, a lot of cards. Too many. One more card, please, Spirit. One more card, please, for the Collective. All right. And we have the Eight of Swords. All right. In this particular deck, it is a butterfly going through a metamorphosis. All right. So, some of you may be... Um, trying to maintain control of your emotions as you go through a time of rapid change, okay? This is uh, not a surprising message considering the time period that we're currently in. It is a change into the new age of Aquarius. A lot of us are uh, just changing the way we move, changing our circle. People are falling, falling away. Our soul tribe is um, changing growing all right um some of you may be overwhelmed in this time but let's look further into the message please tell me about <laughs> too many please tell me about the recent past for the collective please oh, too many too many like <laughs> They really want to talk, y'all. They really want to talk. A lot of cards just tried to come out. But the first two that came out was the Seven of Pentacles and the Death card. Death again is another uh, metamorphosis. What's going on with these cards? Spirit, please give me one more card for the recent past for the collective. Spirit says I got messages. Like, you ask for messages. I'm trying to bring you the messages. That's all I'm trying to do. All right. Please tell me about the present position for the collective. Okay, we got one coming out. That's the Eight of Swords again. That's feeling stuck. Stuck in your head about something. Cards keep trying to flip, y'all. I'm gonna have to start pulling them just for the sake of time, but I did ask the spirit guide my hands in that instance to provide the messages that they want to convey. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of metamorphosis, a lot of ending of cycles. That's not surprising me at all because that's just been the energy the last few weeks. And the near future, please. Near future, please. <laughs> King of Cups came up again for y'all. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the full. If that tells you anything, yet again, new beginnings. 
All right. So leading your reading, you have the Father of Cups and the Eight of Swords, uh, which is, like I said, being in control of your emotions. And in this particular deck, this is a butterfly for the Eight of Swords. Um, so I also feel like it represents metamorphosis, but this is also being stuck. However, if you know the life cycle of a butterfly, you know they're not stuck. They come out of their their, their cocoons and they be popping. They be they change. All right. So in the recent past, a lot of you have been evaluating your connections. I really feel like this is um, in reference to your connections. It can also be about your job situation as well as it is the Pinnacles card here, which represents money, stability, and your foundations. Um, but with the death card, you're definitely bringing some things to an end and looking for new beginnings. And this is something that you're doing very swiftly with the King of, I mean, with the Knight of Wands here. So a lot of you all have already done some type of evaluation of your connections, whether they be work, friendship, relationships, and have, have put them to rest pretty quickly, like without hesitation, just rushed right in there and did that. Um, currently, though, a lot of you all are stuck in your head about what the next cycle is. So you definitely ended cycles here with the world card that is the end of a cycle. But now you're a little bit stuck about um, my, maybe which direction to go. Uh, maybe some of you all are even stuck in your head about whether or not you made the right decision in ending some of these connections. But rest assured. Uh, you definitely did. Um, this is just what's going on right now for the collective. Um, you also have the King of Pentacles in your present position. So if you are an entrepreneur or if you're not, but you are an entrepreneurial type person, um, you're definitely considering ways to expand if you don't have anything going as far as a business or a plan yet, there's definitely a dream that you have that you want to start exploring. But I feel like in your head, it's real solid. Like, you know exactly what it is. You know all the ins and outs. And now you're just trying to explore ways to bring it into fruition. Okay. Um... And in the very near future, you have the Ten of Cups with the King of Cups here. So you're going to get all that happiness that you're looking for. Um, and I think that's why you keep getting the King, of, the King of Cups. Like initially, you had to master your emotions in a sense of um, knowing what was right for you in spite of how you felt, and that meant cutting out things that were not right for you, things that didn't make you feel good. But in the near future, you're sitting here happy AF because you did that, okay? Um, the Seven of Swords also came in as well. So um, that is a card of deception in the near future. Um, this is a card that I refer to as my little lies card because the way I perceive this card is not necessarily just deception that has been done to you, but also deception that you have to do to others. Um, not necessarily in a way that's hurtful. This is not something that you do to hurt people, but it's more... Um, as a self-preservation thing. Um, for example, um, maybe you need to uh, leave a situation and you know that directly telling a person or a job or whatever will end up being a very volatile situation if you say anything and it will affect you personally very negatively. So... Uh, the way that you go about it is you just don't say anything, even though you know that you're about to make an exit. You know, little things like that. It doesn't necessarily hurt anyone, but it does protect you, okay? Um, so let's go ahead 
and pull some oracles for you. We're gonna go with the star seed oracle real quick. I'm gonna pull one of those. And then I haven't used the Isis Oracle in a very long time. I usually use them in personal readings um, because it can be a little long-winded, but they're very insightful cards. Um, so I'll just give you all the base meaning of them when I pull them. Okay, well that fell right out. Big picture thinking. So yeah, I think that ties back to the seven of swords here with the big picture thinking. You have to tell a little lie because you're thinking about the big picture. Okay. So let me give you all a little deeper insight into the big picture. This is Pleiades energy, visionary inspired thinking. Um, you did have the king of pentacles here in your present position. So like I said, um, some of you all know what you want. Some of you all have like a huge business idea in your head or if it's not a business thing um, maybe it's a creative venture but whatever it is it's there you got all the details worked out you're just exploring ways to bring it into fruition um okay so the big picture thinking pleiades are the cosmic are our cosmic cousins they're here to remind us that it's never too late to learn new things and to change your future being called to be a visionary, you're being called to be a visionary for the planet, to take a breath, shake off what you've been taught about the world, and hold a new vision for humanity. You're likely a natural big picture thinker, here to generate ideas for the future, here to birth new age and dream a new world into being. The future will be woven by dream makers like you by with those by those with courage to question the way things have been and envision new possibilities for the planet the world needs more artists more dreamers inventors and visionary thinkers perhaps you've had an idea that you recently that you've been called to usher in if so this card is a confirmation that it's divinely guided the Pleiadians support us in this important stage in Earth's development. They want us to know that the decisions we make today will affect the well-being of our planet and all of its species. They're calling you to be a leader to the future, to hold a clear vision of what's possible, to trust the vision and follow it uh, through daily action, to dream a new world into being, to hold your mind open and to not worry about what others think. For it takes great courage to pay the new path, to, tr to trust the vision before it's even a reality. So how are you being called to step up and lead? So this really just speaks to and just confirms everything that I, I said. A lot of you all have a vision. You have a vision. And with the page of wands, you're just trying to figure out, you're exploring a way to bring it into fruition, but this is something that is necessary. This is something that is divinely guided. And this is something that's gonna bring you happiness. It's gonna bring you success. And hopefully it'll be something that affects the world in that same way, bringing happiness and success to other people. Uh, let's go ahead and pull you all a Isis Oracle. And then we're gonna dive into the advice okay Isis what messages do you have for the collective Isis alright there she go rising sun a divine solar child reborn so again I told you all metamorphosis is what I got from the eight of swords in the Wild Unknown Tarot with the butterfly here. And then in your recent past, the death came through. Metamorphosis again. So here we are now with a third metamorphosis card. Divine Solar Child Reborn. This is the Rising Sun. Okay. So let me get a little deeper into that for you all. Okay. So the rising sun. 
A dark phase and struggle is over. A new phase is upon you, one of hope, glory, light, and triumph. It is one through boldness and persistence. Even when you felt like giving up, you chose to stay strong, to surrender to the divine and continue with the path. You have been through much and now victory is upon you, beloved. The divine solar child, a new consciousness, consciousness is within you, is born. Okay? So that's very beautiful. So let's go ahead and jump into your advice before we close out this reading. What is the advice for the collective, for everyone involved here who's trying to bring positive change into the world, into this new age of Aquarius? Okay. Any advice, please? <laughs> the first part out is the Empress. That's all about fertility, birthing new things. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Ten of Wands. All right. So for the advice, we have the Empress with the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so the Empress, like I said, is about fertility, birthing new things. The Ten of Wands is about being overburdened by responsibility. And then the Ace of Cups is a new creative beginning. This is a beginning in love as well, um, but your cup is running over. So the advice here is when you're creating this new thing to have some love for yourself, okay? The Ten of Wands is a, a card of overburdening yourself. When it comes to work, it's like you're taking on so many roles that maybe you don't need to. This is a card telling you to lay down your burdens and maybe delegate some of that responsibility to somebody else. Yes, this is your, your creation and it's okay to oversee, but you cannot do it all. You are only one person, you are human. So give yourself a little bit of love, okay? Have some compassion for yourself. Because you can't run anything if you're worn out, okay? So the advice here is just take it easy on yourself. Don't give up on this. Delegate some responsibility. Still bring it to life. But just don't do too much. Don't don't hurt yourself, all right? All right, so I think the, the messages that you all needed to hear came out quickly and very clearly. And Spirit felt the need to reiterate a few things that this is a time of metamorphosis, okay? This is a time of rebirth and creation, all right? And that you need to keep on focusing on the bigger picture and bringing these beautiful things that are in your head to life, all right? So Collective, I hope that this message helped you. Um, if you all would like personal readings, all the information you need will be in the description box below, along with all of my other social media. And until the next time that I do a reading for you all, Collective, I'm wishing you love and light and everything, right? And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.